The tear-up merchant would always fight in the gap of a split second. Were the two halves are presented. Good or bad choices. He or she has the fight in nature to block the bad and fight no matter what obstacle for the good. These lights shine in self-love. They will stand for it. These are the ones that will have a tear up. Believe. Believe. Runs and the hill runs in Hampstead on a grass run with the football boots. There's, there's that run. There's all different in there. Is you run in the winter as well? Hell yeah. Floyd don't run away. Floyd is more like he's, he set traps for you. He's always been like this. He was an amateur. It's more like a, a counter puncher. And then he wears you down. And then if he gets the opportunity to knock you out, he knocks you out. You know, so fighters like Carl Frosch get mixed up in it because that's the way they want to fight. And then after the fight, you know, you can start hearing the speech. Let's go. Different fighters out there. Ali used to run away on his back foot, you know, he used to jump, he used to box, Joe Frazier used to come forward. Um, you know, for myself, I prefer coming forward, you know, I don't really, because I don't really, I don't know how to box going backwards. It's how you start as an amateur. And if you box on the back foot as an amateur, you're going to be boxing box, back, back foot as a pro. But if you're a pressure fighter in the amateur, you're going to be a pressure fighter in the, in the pro game, because it's how you start, basically. When we were born, we just we were just driving going forward. We can't go backwards. It's not like I want to be a baby. You just go backwards. Um, but certain fighters prefer going back back foot. You know, boxing on the back foot, setting traps for you. I was gonna say again, May Mayweather and uh, there's one more fighter. I forgot his name. Who does that? The same thing as well. And then afterwards, it starts coming forward. But we just for me, I like going forward putting pressure on our fighter. But the other fighter don't want to go backwards because he has to because he don't know what's happening. It's a war. <laughs> when you get in the ring, it's a war. There's yeah. no, it's a war. It's a, there's nothing else to look at here, but it's a fighting game, but it's a war. You know? You can just feel, you can feel the fear when you're around them. The way the nervous energy when they hold you in the, in the clinch. And the, they don't want to be there. They, they just want to like hurry up and just go home. Um, you feel it. I feel it every time when I find this and saying, guys, even inspiring it sometimes. 
Why? It was, it was boxing. It's about fear in people. It's like you in the 20, if you like 20 years ago, let's say get in the room with Mike Tyson. <laughs> You'd be like, yo, can you tell your friends, yes, yeah, I'm on it, but when you get in the ring there, <laughs> you start shaking boots. <laughs> It's the same thing with people. You can see it. You see the fear. Like this, when Mike Tyson used to fight guys, hit them with one punch, and then after they like, they don't want to be in there. They look at him like Jesus Christ. <laughs> they have to. They can't lose face. They can't. If there was, if there was way for them to just come out of the ring, and run in there, can't just drive home, they would. <laughs> but there's twenty thousand people. They're watching, <laughs> so you can't really jump the ropes and run out. There's a joke when the guy is like, there's two guys digging for diamonds, and the other guy's almost stands an inch away, and then he gives up. He gives up, he gives up all his minions because it was right there at the diamond mine. And there's another guy who's hungry for it, he's just coming, coming. <laughs> and he gets it. So you can't give up. We could never give up on your dreams, you have to carry on. do at that time. You can only spoil it for seven rounds, like first two rounds. You know, that's why you have to be very sharp and up on your guard. And then afterwards just break them down. See, when you get to the top, yeah, there has to be some, there has to be people getting slaughtered. You know, these fighters will come along, they think they can do better, but they can't do better, they're only limited. And, uh, I mean, there's great athletes who train hard. You can be brave for that 20, 20 minutes. And then after, when you go back to your house and you by yourself, there's nothing happening <laughs> in your life. It's just injuries and you're damaged and you're scarred for life. Boxing, one thing with boxing is like, it's it's a form of art. It's like playing chess, it's like drawing a Picasso. And it's a black, it's a blank canvas. You know, and you just go give them a couple of paint brushes and you have to come up with the best portrait out, out there. And some fighters have done that, you know, who've retired on top, you know, Lennox Lewis, you know, Joe Kawasaki, Floyd, you know. They got given up blank covers and they've been drawing 24-7 and they've come out good. No reason to cheat, you know. You're getting in there with somebody else's son. Why you, you, you take drugs and then you kill with somebody else's son? That's not fair. I don't believe in that. I just believe in the spirit and just doing it right and just giving it all your best. <coughs> so what time did you wake up? Four. Four? Yeah, you're up at four. Oh, you hear that? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah? You like it, but... When it comes to eating, know that it's your right. Give yourself every opportunity. Sharper, go. Come on. Yes, 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 y
that's why 